in the last unit, we actually saw what plagiarism means and its implications. And for us researchers, we have, we have to know ways of avoiding plagiarism. And that is by proper referencing. And that's the reason why we are taking you through this unit, which is Harvard in-text citing and referencing. What's the referencing style? A referencing style is a set of rules that instructs you on how to acknowledge the thoughts, ideas, and works of others in a particular way. Now, there are different types of referencing styles. Now, the choice depends on you or on, on your institution and also depends on your field. The different types of referencing styles are American Meteorological Society style, upper referencing, Chicago styles, Harvard referencing, MHRA referencing, Oscola referencing, Oxford referencing, and Vancouver referencing. But we are going to be looking at Harvard referencing style, which is relatively very common. There are two paths to Harvard style. The inter citation and the reference list. The inter citation is used in the body of the work when quoting or paraphrasing a source. While the reference list is a comprehensive list of all citations with their full bibliographic information located at the end of every academic or research work. Harvard has a general format. Critically look at the general format. Last name. Note the punctuations. You can see comma after the last name. First initial. A full stop after the initial. Then year published. A full stop after the year published. Title. You can see it's italicized. City. A colon. Publisher comma then page and a full stop at the end of pages now let's look at the general format for books with one author last name is very similar to the general format but this is for books the the difference is that we are going to be stating edition statement if the book is first edition, you may not have any need to include it. But if it's second edition and so on, it is important that you include it. So you can see, last name, first initial, full stop, year published, full stop, title, edition, first edition should not be included, city, colon, publisher, comma, pages. Now let's look at that example. Dixon, comma, study the example. You will observe that the title is italicized. Very important. General format for journal articles. The general Harvard format for referencing articles in print journals is again just like the general format the journal itself the title of the journal is italicized but the title of the article itself is not italicized look at the example please do study the example and take note of the differences conclusion I will advise you to refer to the comprehensive courseware because you have other, other issues to, discuss, to understand. Conclusion. You have just learned how to reference the various types of information sources you may be using in your academic work. Using the Harvard style with this, 
you are able to avoid any form of infringement which usually has severe consequences thank you